Hey, this is YBR with Ace of Seafood, the long-awaited sequel to Neo Aquarium. You never heard of Neo Aquarium? Don't worry, that'll probably be the only time I make a reference to that game. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new game in this, and then we gotta choose a fish. And we have a couple of different options. We have a sardine, salmon, or spiny lobster. If you choose sardine, you are a weak fish, but you have many allies. If you choose salmon, you're a stronger fish, but you have less allies. If you choose spiny lobster, you're stronger, but you have even less allies. Also, the spiny lobster is a lobster which can't exactly swim, so I want something that swims. So I'm going to go with the salmon as my fish of choice. And it doesn't really matter too much which fish you choose at the start because you will have access to the other fish later on. But anyways, the way this game works is it is a fish combat game, actually a squad based fish combat game. And I've played the tutorial already, so I know what that's going to do, so we can go ahead and skip that. So right now we have two other salmon that could help us fight whatever. And we're going to start it off by just finding something to fight. Now right there, there's a starfish. You can technically fight them, but they aren't going to fight back. So if you were to take out a starfish, all you would do is collect resources from them. So you could just charge at them with a headbutt. They blow up and boom, you have some resource from that starfish. So over here, we have some more things that we could collect resources from. If I don't miss entirely. There we go. So more resources there. And that's just showing you the attack that does more damage. Now, there's also a ranged attack. The ranged attack is shooting bullets. Yeah, the fish shoot bullets. I was holding off on that as long as I possibly could, but the fish shoot bullets at things. Why? That's how fish work, actually. I have a fish tank, and I've watched them fight things, and they do basically just that. So here's a bunch of sardines. We're going to try to take them out. Now, we could shoot laser bullets like this, or if we want to be lazier, we could also shoot homing bullets that just kind of pew everywhere, pew pew everywhere, and eventually we'll hit them. Which is what I'm going to do, because there are sardines all over the place, and I don't even know where to aim. There are so many of them, and I'm just going to hope my fish can take them out. Now, I can also tell my fish to do different things, like how to attack them or try to defend me, all kinds of different things. So I'm going to tell them just to attack all of the enemies and hope that we could take them all down. We've taken a few down already, and... I think we're gonna be okay, even though there was quite a few sardines. We are the strong salmon. We will not be defeated. There's still a couple more. There it is. Get that sardine! There we go. The strong salmon have won. Now, whenever you win a fight, you probably are gonna wanna save. To do that, all you do is you find a reef that you've already conquered, and you go into that reef, and that saves all your data. And your goal in this game is basically to conquer all the reefs around you. So right now we just have the one conquered and there's a little bit of tutorial there. I'm going to just kind of ignore that for now to explain it on my own way. So this is a squad based game. So the, this is our squad. Now it seems like the number of reefs you have determines the capacity of your squad. So when you first start off, you're going to have a weak squad, but as you play it more and more, you can get a stronger one. And every time you defeat a fish, you will eventually get the ability to breed them. So right here we have 600% ability to breed them. Sometimes when you defeat a fish, you'll get 50%, and it, you won't be able to breed it until you get at least 100%, so you might have to defeat multiple fish to be able to breed it. But once you defeat enough fish, you can breed them, and then you could add that fish to your squad. So now we have three salmon and one sardine, and we could do more, but our squad is at capacity, so there's really no point in doing that. So instead, we can go ahead and just uh, get out of here and start exploring some more. And right here, here's a little bit of a map that shows where we've been. We haven't been very anywhere at all, so uh, kind of hard to do anything with that. But as you explore, the map will be cleared up and you'll actually be able to see things because right here, you can see that's about as far as we've seen. So actually over there, there's another uh, species we could try to take out to strengthen ourselves and get new options for our allies. There was a hermit crab, although he disappeared on me. I don't know exactly where he went. So instead, let's get that starfish. Now starfish... Those ones will satisfy, satisfy your hunger. Some of the things you collect are resources that you use to breed more fish. Kind of a weird th setup like that, isn't it? Oh, that thing looks like it'll beat me up. We are not going to go fight him. We're going to go and try to get a new reef, though, and expand our domination of the reef. Hopefully, the animal that is currently in charge of the reef I'm heading to, which is over there, isn't too terribly strong. We'll find out once we get there. If he is strong, he will defeat us, and we will be back at our uh, reef that we we're at. There he is. All right, it's just one crab, it looks like. I think we can do that. Just keep hitting him, hitting him. I'm going to do my charge attack. My charge attack. There we go. So we have defeated that crab. And we can also assemble the crab as an ally now. But right now, what I want to do is I want to go into the reef. 
to save the progress because that's when progress saves and stuff. And if I lost all that work I just did, I'd be kind of disappointed. So now the squad capacity has gone up to 120 so we can get either more allies or stronger ones. And you can only get a maximum of these uh, six members of the squad, including the one you control. As far as I know, there's no way to swap between squad members as you're actually playing as them. So you got to choose which one you play as and that's it. So I'm like this salmon no matter what. And if you die, it's game over. It doesn't matter if there's people left in your or fish left in your squad. It's so like right now we could go ahead and just uh, breed up a couple of sardines to just flush out our squad a little bit more. You know, get a full squad. But like I said, it didn't matter which one you chose because we already have a squad of half sardines now. All we would have to do before is defeat some salmon and then we would have a squad of salmon and sardines still. So now we could go ahead, go to the next operation, conquer more reefs. And um, that's pretty much how the game plays, actually. It's a little wacky, but it's pretty fun. Controls are a little wacky, too. Uh, I'm using the Xbox controller. It works, but it took me a while to get used to it. They're just a little different. Like right here, we're going to go ahead and just pew pew these things away. And you have a stamina bar that determines when you can do certain things. Like if you are headbutting things and shooting lasers all over the place, eventually you'll run out of stamina. But it seems like uh, I rarely run out of stamina unless I'm doing some weird things like the... Uh, decoy that can use up stamina fast like you have all these decoy fish to distract them so that's something fish totally do in real life apparently yeah i don't know but that will use up your stamina pretty quick anyways there's a lionfish over there i want to go ahead and try to take him out he shouldn't be too terribly hard so we have tons of homing missiles now because of all my sardine friends we should be able to take him out without too much trouble there we go now you notice there's no little notification that tells you you can uh, have a lionfish so that means we still need to defeat more of them to be able to have a lionfish and I don't even know what I'm fighting there it is it's a clown trigger fish get him get the clown trigger fish I like trigger fish they're one of my legit favorite kinds of fish I like them a lot I also like parrot fish too they both have like funny looking faces on them like they look like they always happy no matter what's going on come on get him where is he I lost him there he is there he is there he is go 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 get that trigger fish we have defeated another fish and once again, it'd be logical to save here, just in case some monster fish comes and tries to uh, wreck my stuff up. Just a smart idea to just go over here, save that progress, so that way we don't have to defeat extra of those to eventually breed them and then have them as allies if I wanted to. Also, if you have a different animal, you do have slightly different, uh, well, if you have, I mean, you have different fish, you have slightly different attacks and stuff. So why don't I swap myself out to be a sardine instead of a salmon to show you what that would be like. Which is really detrimental to my abilities to do anything because I should be a salmon because I need the extra health, but to, oh well. So as a salmon, it is a little bit easier to get your stamina bar to fall off because his bullet attack is very fast. He has like a pew, 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 where the salmon's like pew, pew, pew. So him, you could actually run out of stamina pretty easily, you see, like that. And I think his is a little bit better if you have precise aim, but I don't. So I don't know which one's really better for me, but most of the time I'm just using homing attacks. And with him, he also has less stamina on his homing attacks, so that means he's also more likely to run out on those. See, Salmon, he's strong. He won't run out at all of resources. And there's a clam. I'm going to just beat that clam up. Yeah, take that clam. Wow, that clam is durable. I guess clams are strong, huh? You know what? We could use the uh, pew pew pews on the clam, because I'm not going to miss that. You also have the ability to aim a little bit more precisely if you want. You get like a crosshair and stuff, but uh, I'm using a controller, so I need to rely on the kind of auto aim you get when you don't do the precise aiming methods also you have the ability to automatically find reefs so like there's a reef over there that i haven't conquered so we like no okay let's go there and try to conquer that reef try to find it somewhere around here oh either this is the one i already had or nobody was here oh nobody is here so that's just a boom automatic win for me that is great i'm gonna go ahead and stop being a, a sardine because i'm scared of dying with all that little bit of health so right there, just boom, done. Reef conquered. Going to keep on destroying these new other fish that I see though. So we could do a little ping for the new reef. Seems like there's one in this direction, so we can make our way over there. Looks like there's some enemies around there. We got hermit crabs, a, a red frog crab, all kinds of stuff around here. I don't know which one is the reef, but I think if we get near enough to it, there we go. We just gotta defeat two sardines. That shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we defeated like six of them earlier. And I'm just missing all over the place, but my other fish, they will get that sardine for me. 
I'm just making sure I don't accidentally fight another fish because I don't want to do that. I just want to fight the ones that control the reef so I can control the reef. And then I'll save again by going into the reef. And now we have enough capacity, I think, to get the in place of a sardine. So we could either breed up a new fish if we had the resources, but we don't. Well, we could get a we can get a red frog crab and swap them in. And then we have a perfect new setup. Now, I guess I could use the crab. I, I don't exactly like using land-based things like the crabs and lobsters because they're a little bit more difficult because you can't swim. But I might as well show it off. So let's go grab this one. And whichever one is at the top is the one you're at if you haven't uh, figured that out by now. I think I might have mentioned it, but yeah. So here we are as the crab and you see we just fall down. And oh, I just hit the... That happens a lot to me where I accidentally hit the button to go back into it because it also controls the layout of your squad. And I like having them in a certain layout sometimes, so I'll just click the button without thinking, and then it's like, whoops. See, I wanted my squad to be in the attack mode, and, uh, well, I didn't do that. Also, when you're this one, you could have them form a single vertical line for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why you'd want that, but you totally could do that for when you're the crab. And the crab does have slightly different things. He has phasers, which obliterate the landscape like that. Seems like it's pretty strong. And you notice, though, it does have destructible landscapes, which is pretty cool. So you can, you know, dig a hole or something, whatever you want. One thing I found that's pretty cool is if you break things up a lot, that's eventually you'll just find a clam that's living in the dirt. You're just like, hello. Or you find like a, a worm or something that's like right there, just living in the dirt. You just obliterate his home and then you obliterate him. You know, just everything that's living in the dirt. Goodbye to them. So this one, you also have the ability to remove the shell and regenerate limbs, which I guess is like a healing thing. I've actually, like I said, I don't like being the crabs. So I haven't messed around with it too much. They have normal homing missiles, and you have decoy just like the other fish. His homing missiles look different though. His look all cool looking like that. And if we just walk around shooting homing missiles all over the place, it actually works as a pretty good way to just collect resources as you like see them. Like you see there's stuff over there, just shoot some homing missiles, you'll collect them. With the crab, you can't really swim. Like you kind of just walk on the ground, which sucks sometimes because there'll be fish a mile above you. And it's like, I can't hit them, they're too far away. Oh, look at that, we're on land though. You can't do that as a fish. I mean, you could, but you'd probably barely be able to control where you move. Uh, let's see. There's a reef right down there. So let's go ahead and try to take it out as the crab. And we're going to fight whatever's here. I don't care. But they got six sardines. I don't care. We're going to beat them up as a crab. I just died. Ha! I hate the crab. I don't even know exactly what got me. It was just chaos. And it's like, oh, I'm dead. All right, let's stop being the crab now. Let's go back to being a salmon. So much easier being a fish. Crabs suck. <laughs> Alright, let's ping. Find a new base to try to take over. So you can see the different kind of laser beams out of the fish. Like, I could just fit through there just barely. Oh, there's two different ones that are both near us. Whoa, what's that? Something big. Oh, don't touch him. He's scary. Someday we will be able to take him out. That is not today. All right, there are a couple of reefs around here, and I gotta decide which one I want to try at. Let's see what this one has on it. Oh, I thought it was somewhere around here. There's a reef. I gotta just find it. We got looks like a couple of spiny lobsters. We should be able to. Oh, there's three of them. It's gonna be close if I was to try to fight them. I will probably die, but we're gonna try it anyways. Here we go. I'm gonna try to keep my distance from them because as I, uh, when I'm a land one, that usually is what uh, sucks to have happen to me. So I'm going to do that to them. And just shoot them with homing missiles as I try to avoid them. But they are hitting me. They are hitting me hard, man. These See, they are able to do some crazy nonsense when they're the land ones. I can't do that. I should probably get the land ones as my allies. That's what I should do. That will be my best interest. Uh-oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. My fish is dead, basically. The, I got my fish dying. My fish is about to die. Or my allies are dying. I'm about to die. This is not a good place to be. Let's get out of here. I'm just gonna keep shooting homing missiles at them just in case they try to chase me. Maybe it'll freak them out, make them stop or something. They are too strong for me. All right, stop attacking things. I think we're far enough away to be out of their attack range. And now we gotta find one of my my uh, reefs I was at to just save myself from dying. Like I could just die and respawn, sure, but it feels a little bit better when you save yourself. I do wish the minimap would get a little bit bigger because it can be hard to find a reef that is yours at times. And it looks like the crabs are over there, or the lobsters are still there. But I just went in a big fat circle like a dummy. I don't know if health bars stay. 
when you're attacking the reef and you run away. I've never done that before. This is the first time I've freaked out and ran away. But it doesn't matter because I can't find the stinking reef. But, oh, there it is. It's the blue on the map. There we go. I have to uh, clear a bit of a way through there by destroying the terrain, but we're going to make our way. There's a clam. I told you clams will appear sometimes. Oh, goodness. Those lobsters are still chasing us. Go away, lobsters. I'm at my home now. So there we go. We're safe now. Total waste of time, basically, right there, but we're safe. And, um, I think that gives you a pretty good idea kind of how this game operates and stuff. I think it's a pretty fun game. Not exactly sure if I plan to do more videos for it or not. I truly haven't decided yet. It probably mostly depends on your guys' input on whether or not you'd like to see more. So... If you're enjoying this game so far, feel free to request more videos so I know that you guys are enjoying it or not. And let's try to conquer one more reef. Hopefully it's not too difficult. What is over on this one, huh? Oh, just a bunch of sardines again. Okay, well, I died to them once before, but that was a fluke. That was a fluke. We could get them this time. Apparently they're all going over there for some reason because my fish are over there. We'll use the mini-map to find them. Just shoot some lasers at them. Lasers everywhere. Like, this game's chaos. Oh, no! Oh, I just started a fight with a big, fat, scary-looking fish. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but he's going to destroy us all. Leave me alone! This is an accident. I didn't mean to fight you. I wanted to fight the wimpy sardines. Who are actually going to kill me. Okay, so... I bet what happened last time is that fish got me when I was a crab, too. Because he's just around there. Sneaking about, messing everything up. What a pain. You know, I just noticed. Oh, see, I just did that thing where I clicked a couple of times. Uh, some of the reefs are different sizes. Though. I wonder if that has any indication of, like, anything. Like, the different sizes on the mini-map. I saw some that were over to the right. What is this fish right here? If we take off just one fish, we could probably take them down. What is it? There's something over here, I thought. Hermit crab. We could take out a hermit crab, no problem. Shoot some homing attacks at him, and he will be gone before we know it. Just gotta make sure I don't accidentally attack any other fish, because that will screw me over. And I think I just did. It might just be another hermit crab, so I think we might be okay with that, though. Oh, goodness, it is not. It is a big old snapper. Maybe he's just big and scary, right? Yeah. Oh, he's actually losing health pretty fast. Like, those red bars below their name is their health. I should have mentioned that. But to me, that was kind of just second nature. I figured it out in, like, 10 seconds. Some people might not notice them because there's so much chaos going on the screen. It's like, oh, that's a health bar? Oh, yeah, it is, huh? Okay, apparently, the snappers are just big, scary lugs that don't really seem to be really deadly. Although, he did take out a pretty good amount of my squad. Enough so where we definitely want to try to save ourselves and you know recover because we are down to just me and some sardines and it seems like the sardines are good at living man like the sardines they live the other ones they keep dying uh but that'll do it for this game so until next time this has been ybr like i said if you'd like to see more of ace of seafood do you request it otherwise until next time i'll see ya